Georgia Governor Nathan Dill giving an update right now. We are monitoring this. Uh, of course, Hurricane Matthew still threatening major damage along the coast. Now to Hurricane National Hurricane Center Director Dr. Rick Knapp uh, with the latest. Uh, can you can you fill us in on, on exactly w where we are with respect to the storm and, and some of the newer areas, including Jacksonville and perhaps parts of Georgia that, that are now having to buckle down? Yes, this is far from over, and it's still a major hurricane, Category 3. Not going to be as far north of Jacksonville until a few hours from now, and then Georgia and South Carolina and North Carolina. Very concerned about those areas because we're already seeing some video, some accounts of storm surge flooding and some waves on the coastline that are very dangerous uh, in northern Florida. That's a taste of what is to come uh, in Georgia where the weather's going downhill, the winds will pick up, the bands will get more frequent, more potent, and our forecast takes a path that is almost the same shape as the coastlines of Georgia and South Carolina. It could come ashore, the center of the hurricane, uh, perhaps in uh, South Carolina, maybe even Georgia, but regardless, it's going to be close enough to these coastal areas that storm surge, the deadliest hazard of all, could take lives unless people evacuate like their emergency managers have told them to do. Emergency managers, governors, even the president of the United States, and still some uh, are not necessarily heeding the, uh, the warning. And I think perhaps the fact that it hasn't been so far as damaging as initially thought. Uh, also, and, and, and let's, work, let's talk about that, Dr. Knapp, because last night we were talking Category 4, Category 5. A lot of the listening audience here, well, now it's a Cat 3. They think that lessens the risk, does it? It does not, because think about some of the major impacts in the United States over the last several years that were not even Category 3, weren't even major hurricanes. Sandy was not when it made landfall in the New Jersey area and flooded portions of New York City. Ike in 2008 in the Texas region, major storm surge flooding, Category 2, and it made landfall. And you don't even have to have landfall to have the storm surge pummel coastal areas, and we have a particular product to get that message out, our prototype storm surge warning. It's not just a line drawn along the coast. There are areas in which the storm surge flooding can go inland a little ways, uh, either right over the land or getting into the rivers and estuaries. So there's very good reasons why folks have been told to evacuate from these areas because not just storm surge flooding, but inland flooding uh, from heavy rainfall, water is so dangerous, and nine out of ten people that die in past tropical cyclones in the U.S. die from water. So the category that's assigned because of the wind speed is not the biggest killer. Okay, and I also want to just alert the audience that we, uh, we've been updated to almost a million people in Florida without power. Talk to us about that. Uh, we know that we talk about the potential loss of life. That's paramount for us. Uh, but before we let you go, the type of structural damage that we could be looking at uh, from those storm surges that you talked about and the inland flooding, particularly as it goes up to Georgia uh, and South Carolina. Yeah, storm surge can also be accompanied by large and battering waves on top of that, especially in the immediate coastal areas. That can destroy structures, but you can also get water into structures that kind of destroys them in another way with all the insides of it, uh, you know, wet and with uh, water of six to nine feet above normally dry ground, which is what the possibility is in portions of Georgia and South Carolina. Uh, that can take out structures, but we're mainly wanting people not to be there when that happens, right. and hopefully they'll come back to something uh, a little less damaging than they feared, but you've got to live through it first. Dr. Nab, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Thank you.